Megan freaks out as Harry's aunt controlling Diana's trust fund, only passed to the Duke after a divorce. In 1993, four years before her tragic death, Princess Diana signed a last will and testament. Understandably, she gifted many of her possessions to her two sons, but acquiring that inheritance didn't end up being quite so simple. Before we get into the nitty gritty of what the beloved Princess Diana left behind after her death, a few unknown secrets came to light. It included formerly secret information about why Prince Harry and Meghan stepped back from their royal duties, why their son Archie isn't a prince, and some more clues as to what Princess Diana left for her sons. At the time of her death in August 1997, Diana reportedly had a net worth of about £21 million, an amount then equal to around £31.5 million USD. This included all of her funds, stock investments, physical objects such as jewellery and clothing, and her £17 million divorce settlement from Prince Charles. In her will, Diana established a discretionary fund that would benefit her two sons and their future families. £100,000 reportedly went into the fund in addition to accumulated interest and income from the assets of said fund. Diana requested that after the distribution of her material possessions and allocation of the discretionary fund, the remainder of her estate be divided between her sons. She bequeathed the remainder or the residuary estate to them on this condition, that it remain in a trust until they turned 25. Since they were just teens when she passed away, the estate was placed in a trust. The executors of the trust, according to a codicil or supplement, Diana added to the will in February 1996, were her mother and sister. A few months after Diana's death, her mother and sister sought and enacted a variance to the will known as the Arrangement. This variation order postponed the date Harry and William would inherit their share of the estate. Now, Harry's money from Diana's will is kept by his aunt Jane Fellows. She has the power to decide when it should be given to Harry. Rumour has it Harry will get it after his divorce from Meghan. And Meghan clearly knows that, so she hasn't broken up with Harry yet. It wasn't until she got something from Harry that she really left. If Harry divorces Meghan, she has no legal claim to Harry's inheritance from his mother. At the time of Megxit, Harry was getting roughly $5 million from his father as well as his income from whatever Diana left him. Most of his travel expenses and much of their wardrobe expenses were also covered, and he didn't have to worry about medical costs. So they left a life where he had enormous privilege and security as well as an annual income that most of us can't even imagine because he thought they could do better on their own in Hollywood. Amid the rumour of a Sussex divorce, Meghan Markle has been slammed as delusional for underestimating the scrutiny that she'd face as part of the firm. Relationship expert Kate Mansfield said, I think that one of the reasons that Meghan has had so much negative press is that she seems to have completely underestimated the reality of what it means to be married into the royal family. Relationship expert Kate Mansfield said, I think that one of the reasons that Meghan has had so much negative press is that she seems to have completely underestimated the reality of what it means to be married into the royal family. She continued, Wanting privacy and to have a way about things is simply delusional. For the common person looking in, although we might have some sympathy for the invasion of privacy, the fact that she married into such a huge privilege counters this. Moreover, if she thinks she can blackmail the royal family, I'll send my condolences to her because that will never happen.